So uh, just to introduce myself, I'm Cabes. I, <laughs> hi. Full disclosure, I just found out that I'm responsible for this whole room when I walked into it. So, so don't do anything I wouldn't do. Also, I hope that, you know, this is everyone's first year here and you don't know that I was involved in scavenger hunt for the last 10 years. So that just really leaves everything wide open for all the trouble you guys could get into. Um, this is going to be a very, very unorthodox closing ceremony because, <laughs> because I'm figuring it out just right now. So thank you everyone. And we're gonna drink about it later. So, uh, all right, I just give my thumbs up now. Oh, I'm good, all right. So uh, even though I went through the trouble of collecting the uh, scores and the stats for everyone's contest or event, I definitely did not have time to put any of it on here because I'm making it up as I go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up the name of a contest or event. If you're here, come on up. You're gonna talk to people about it and, um, and then we will be awarding uh, prizes to the first place contestants. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited that this horrible moment for me is going to be immortalized in, in DEF CON history. This is great. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So, um, first of all, thank you to all of the CNE organizers. Even though we look incredibly disorganized right now, so much work goes into this. Um, we all have day jobs and. Um, this is all just, you know, our love of the con. This is all of our, all of our time and energy. So um, thanks so much to all of the organizers. Uh, my goons are saving my life right now. So please give it up for my goons. And since we're, we're getting real deep and you're learning a lot about me right now, I just came into this role about a month ago. So they just met me and they were very receptive to all of the, the bossing around that I've been doing while I try to, try to you know, get my sea legs with this. So I would like to personally thank them for saving my ass. <laughs> all right, beverage cooling contraption contest. Please come up and save me from this. So, the beverage cooling contraption contest is the most fun you'll ever have. We had a blast, we had a whole bunch of teams sign up. Basically, you cool a beer as fast as you can. So we have two different competitions. One, where you can bring anything you want in the entire universe. Just don't tell us what it is and you'll get it past security, it's fine. So you can bring air conditioning units, whatever you want, and you cool a beer as fast as possible. So we had that competition, and then we have the other one, where you can only build your contraption with stuff you get from the Las Vegas Strip. So you cool a beer down as fast as possible. So we got piles of dry ice, isopropyl alcohol. If you don't know, those two together is negative 140 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 90 Celsius. So you can cool really fast. It also hurts your hands like crazy. So basically, we had those two competitions. Um, I conveniently got the scores on my cool burner phone. So we had uh, two competitions. We had one. So Casey, are you here? He's not. OK, Casey won the unlimited competition. He brought a chiller plate. He cooled 70 degrees in seven seconds, from 105 to roughly like 40 degrees in seven seconds. Thing was amazing. He was sitting there siphoning it with his mouth for like an hour. Um, and then H.G. Uh, Smitty, are you here? Yeah. I don't know if he is. Doesn't look like it. Neither of them are here. Uh, but he won for the uh, the hack competition. He built a. Uh, he got a bunch of air compressor canisters and blew air compressor canisters into a dry ice isopropyl solution, also hurting his hands, uh, and built a cool spinny thingy out of stuff he found in the trash can in the contest hall. Um, and he did really, really well. I think it was like two minutes down to like 40 degrees from 105. So it's also really, really cool. I think um, you guys need gloves. It sounds like there's a lot. Oh, there were lots of gloves. Nobody was using them. 
safety goggles. Not my job. We had safety goggles too. None of them were opened. So um, that's pretty much it. None of them are here. So we'll figure that out later too. Yeah, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely a perfect example of safety third. <laughs> All right, biohacking village. Do I have anyone from biohacking village here? That's a bummer. All right, I'll get there one day. That's actually somewhere I've really been trying to get to. Um, moving on. Creative writing short story contest. Do I have anyone from there? No. Okay, if... Oh, hey! Yay! No. It is so great to meet you. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm Serum. I actually won the contest with Wardreamer. So thank you, everybody. It was a lot of fun, a lot of hard work. Love the competition. <laughs> All right. Is Fox here? Fox. Man. Yes. You have perfected being in multiple places at once. I knew you could do it. I knew you would build the technology. Hi, I'm Fox. We did the fox hunt challenge for uh, hunting down little foxes that we hid. There were three of them in total. It was all for fun. We hid one at the DEF CON sign under the t uh, chair. We had one which was really mean behind a projector. And I forget where the third one was at this point. But yeah, it was super awesome. <laughs> yeah, there he is, Rich. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thanks, guys. All right, no pressure to everybody else, but this one is very near and dear to my heart. Scavenger Hunt, come on up. It's so weird being on this side of this. What is this? I don't know. It's all wrong. It's not meant to be this way. These are, <laughs> this is my contest. We're supp I'm supposed to be with them, but. but you are over there now. So okay. Go over there now. Go sit over there. I'm Hello, done. everybody. Uh, I am one of the judges with the DEF CON scavenger hunt. If you do not know about us, then I don't know how you don't. Um, we are the shenanigan raisers here at DEF CON. We have been doing this for 25 years now. <laughs> Uh, we typically have teams joined from all over the world. Typically, people who come and play in our contest actually end up being in these positions. They actually end up being goons, uh, speakers, and they get really involved with DEF CON because we kind of force you to do that. Uh, you may be remembered for good things. You may not be. That's not my problem. So uh, um, we also had a side project join us this year um, from the National Upcycle Computing Collective. And... Uh, What's the, the what? your institute? Oh, oh, yes. So, <laughs> the, uh, so we're, I'm going to get handed over to him to talk about our little side project that joined us with Scavenger Hunt this year. Uh, sure, sure thing. So the uh, Shell on Demand appliance, which you saw as that lovely soda machine hanging out next to the Scav Hunt table, uh, was providing shells to DEF CON attendees anonymously using cash uh, donations. Uh, we do have some stats from it that we'd be happy to share with you. Uh, we have we sold 483 virtual machines. Uh, unfortunately, based off of the traffic stats off of each virtual machine, only 41 of them were used. Only five VMs had their passwords changed. Does nobody hack at DEF CON anymore? What is this? <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, it was a great service, and we, we hope we can bring it back next year. Thank you, guys. Try to fill in the blanks of that. See, this is what happens when I'm not with them anymore. It's falling apart. Uh, man. The winners will actually be announced at closing ceremony. The big ones. The big one. So if you want to hear who won, you can join us over there. 
Okay, so Hacker Runway. Um, this, I know that the person that ran it is not here. Um, she ended up losing her voice, kind of like me. This is not what I usually sound like. And uh, so she's been running the contest for four years now. And um, this is one that I've kind of become really attached to because one of my favorite things about it is that it's incredibly accessible um, to people who are you know, just getting started in the con, like I did. One of my favorite things when I first got here 15 years ago was playing around in Hardware Hacking Village, learning how to solder, um, and you know, trying to stick LEDs on like, all my stuff so that it looks really cool, which is exactly what you get to do with Hacker Runway. You get to make some stuff, show off your, your beautiful blinky things or your actual um, interactive items. Uh, the winners of this contest were actually announced yesterday live on the stage. Um, we had a, uh, an, I actually don't remember the name of the contestant because this isn't my contest, but she had an interactive backpack. I don't know if you guys saw her going around con, um, but it was an actual hackable backpack. So um, I definitely encourage you guys to uh, maybe look up this contest because uh, uh, the biggest regret I heard this year is that a lot of folks didn't know that this was a project they could be working on all year and just bring it, off, bring it out at DEF CON and show off your stuff. It was so much fun. So um, we'll figure that out later too. Hack Fortress, is Hack Fortress here? It's okay. Recon Village? Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, DEFCON. Um, so we are Recon Village. We were hosting the CDF Capture the Flag event. Um, it was a 38-hour grueling competition where uh, we had about, let me check the stats quickly. Don't remember the numbers. All right, so we had about 134 teams uh, all across the globe signing up with 240 registered users. Uh, being a hybrid system, we you know, kept it uh, for everyone to sign up wherever they were. Uh, we had teams from India, Japan, France, everywhere across the globe playing. Um, it's basically based on finding information on the internet, reconnaissance, and um, you know, uh, finding information uh, on social media. So, um, all those 38 hours teams spent, you know, smashing their head against the wall. I mean, people came up to me, you know, for fig figuring out who were the creators so that they can, you know, grab my neck. <laughs> Thankfully, I remained discreet. Um, but then um, we had uh, about uh, 50 odd teams, like, you know, gathering points. Uh, we have three winners, uh, top three winners here. Um, we had the team Alligator Hunters. Um, anyone here from Alligator Hunters? Oh yeah, they are here. Yay. Cool, they came, in, they came in number one. They came in number one with 2760 points. Um, good, good job, guys. Um, so, and also we have cool prizes to give away. Um, if you don't mind, can we do that here? Yeah, do it. Perfect. All right, uh, these guys are winners for uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 2. And uh, yeah, good job. Any, would you like to share your experience if you don't mind? <laughs> they got to know me, now they're gonna, you know, kick me in the other room out there. Woohoo! Congrats, guys. Perfect. Cool. Um, the second team was Team Pinja. Um, I think we have, yeah, come on on stage. Yeah, awesome. Th these guys win a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, you have been playing games with us, so you win a gaming console. There you go. Right. Um, unfortunately, the third team is not here. They were playing somewhere from France, Team Delaware. Um, they are winners of uh, uh, a RGB keyboard that we have. So I think we're going to show it to them. 
All right. Um, so, yeah, it was pretty fun. It was our sixth year doing this uh, thing. Um, and we'll be back probably next year again and make it a fun event again. So, right. I'll hand it over to Shubham. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. We'll just see you next year. Have fun, guys. All right. So, so these guys didn't know this, but um, DEF CON is throwing in a free pass for um, the winning team for next year as well. Did someone forget their mask up here? Anyone? Anyone that came up with a mask that is no longer wearing one? <laughs> Come. Apologies, sorry. <laughs> All right. Wow, damn, I'm short. <laughs> Red alert, CTF, are you here? Maybe? You had such a sweet setup. And that is one of my biggest regrets about not knowing that I had to put up these slides is that you guys can't see how awesome it looked. So you have got to come back to my contest room next year and see a lot of the awesome things that were happening. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, we are the Red Alert uh, ICS CTF. We've come from South Korea, we've had a, like she was just saying, we've come with a couple of good toys, nice looking toys. If you've come to the contest area, if you've seen a lot of lights, uh, most of it is us. And uh, we had 61 teams. I hope they had a good time. We've got our first place winners uh, right here. I'll not take much time. Uh, first prize was uh, Team XX with 2050 points. Uh, second was Screaming Fist with 1355. And rank three was Taint with 1255 points. So that's uh, a couple of Korean hats and Korean fans for the first team. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you, guys. Another contest that makes me look good. Thank you. Uh, do I have anyone here from America's Next Top Threat Model? No? Maybe? Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Nas. Uh, this is uh, DEF CON's Next Top Threat Model. Um, we put together a contest um, where we, uh, we built a design and a fake company and uh, basically had contestants go through the design and, uh, and look for, for threats and report those back to, uh, back to the dev teams. Um, this is our third year. Um, we were, uh, first year we were here at DEF CON 27 and uh, it was uh, the threat modeling challenge. I was not very creative with the name and uh, Grifter pointed that out. So hopefully we did a better job this year. Uh, we had uh, two winners. Uh, we had, uh, sorry, uh, Conjecter. Um, yeah, so uh, they uh, found a lot of good threats. Um, and uh, the, uh, one of the best things uh, during our challenge, we actually produced a, a JSON format that we had people provide and uh, one of his best threats was uh, use of JSON in the threat model is a breach of human rights. <laughs> this, may, this may lead to excessive alcohol consumption, griping, and in extreme cases, hurling of items to organizers. So uh, when I emailed him, he already left. I uh, sent a congratulations email all in JSON. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, thanks very much for everything. Um, you know, we plan to be back here next year. Um, you know, we, uh, um, this is like I said, the thir third year. Um, the, uh, the company we put together was uh, Drone Online. Uh, it was a company that was in uh, military and warehouse uh, supply chain logistics. Um, they've decided to get into the food delivery space for last mile delivery. Uh, what could go wrong with uh, consumers ordering drones mixed with military drones in a mesh network? <laughs> So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the gold bug, uh, crypt and privacy village puzzle. Do I, have, do I have gold bug here? Yay! I feel like this is coming together, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Hey everybody, so I am Kevin with the Gold Bug Puzzle. The Gold Bug Puzzle is a series of crypto puzzles, not really your modern crypto, but more your stego, here's a picture, figure out what the hell you're supposed to do with it type puzzles. So this year we had a really good showing. We had 230 teams participate from around the world. We did a hybrid contest this year. Uh, of those 230 teams, 29 actually scored points. Uh, we had 1,573 wrong answers submitted and 77 correct answers submitted. And if you're interested, there are still two puzzles that remain unsolved. So congratulations to Team Psychoholics for taking first place. <laughs> By the way, they spent their entire con doing this and I think they violated the three hours of sleep rule. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right, tinfoil hat contest. Anybody? Hey, Crux, you want to come back up here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't go too far. Oh. Okay. Am I going? Yay! So what's actually, what's actually great about uh, these two is that last year, the last time I was faking things till I figured it out, they saved my ass multiple times. So love these guys. Oh shit. Hello everybody. No <laughs> so yeah, this is our fifth year doing tinfoil hat. Um, this started as, you know, it's a total labor of love. It started because we wanted to put a contest in that had zero entry barriers, depending on your skill level, your physical ability level, your age level. Everybody can play. And I see we got some tinfoil hats in the audience over here. So, um, let's see. I got to go back to my Twitter here to check everybody out. But I believe that Stay Skull's right here, correct? Yep, so that's our first place winner. Get up here. For... So this was a tough choice. We have, we have winners for, we have, this is a classic tinfoil hat. This is all tinfoil. There's no other elements to this. This won our substance award. This attenuated the signal the best. Um, we also had, um, Yogoth, now I gotta, I gotta look at my Twitter here, but um, who won the, um, the unlimited category? So their hat contained tinfoil and other items for structure and style. And then we also had, um, oh, I mispronounced that, Yagoth. So Yagoth, are you here anywhere? Has a plane. Oh, okay. I'll reach out to him on Twitter. And then we also have, um, Melissa Miko, are you here for style category, our style winner? No. Well, and the style, this, is, this, was a, this was second place in our style category. Our winner style was this huge, you check out our Twitter, but it was this huge elaborate flamingo with a flamingo tinfoil hat and braids and it was extravagant. So hopefully we can get you back next year, but congratulations to our winners and we'll see you again.
All right, wireless CTF. Anyone want to come up here and talk about it? No? All right, moving on. IoT Village. Thank you. I'm, I'm TiVo from IoT Village. We had two contests running in our village this year. The first is the, the IoT CTF, which I think you're all familiar with. Uh, we had um, awesome turnout this year. We had over 100 teams that were competing. It, this was the biggest CTF that we've ever put on in IoT Village this year with over 48 challenges. Um, we expanded beyond the typical Soho devices that, that you've seen in previous DEF CON IoT CTFs. We had things like the emergency alert broadcast systems that you could exploit. and pop uh, a message on our screen. We had BLE, we had Glowcom satellite units. Uh, so it was an awesome CTF. Uh, the top four, uh, top three teams were only separated by a couple challenges. Uh, in third place was Leet the Hard Way. Uh, in second place was Colonel Panic. And in first place was Team Emojis. Um, and then the, the second, yes. congrats. So the second contest that we run, um, there's a ton of great talented researchers out there that work on IoT devices. Uh, we wanted to recognize some of their work, but also putting together an IoT CTF is hard, and we just really wanted to crowdsource some of their work to bring it into our CTF. So we came up with the CTF Creators Contest. So you could submit devices that would become part of the CTF, and we'd grade those devices based on difficulty and, and uh, CVSS and a discretionary modifier based on other factors such as the rarity of the device, the difficulty of the exploits, stuff like that. So the winner of that contest, Noah, uh, submitted a video doorbell. Um, it had an auth bypass that allowed you to trigger a relay that was meant to unlock the electronic deadbolt that's attached to that device. So a pretty awesome exploit that would get you into somebody's house. But what really triggered the, uh, the max on the discretionary multiplier Something that I think a lot of us researchers can relate to is the, uh, the issues he had when trying to responsibly disclose to the vendor uh, his findings and the fact that he had to go out and get a lawyer to cover himself when the, when the vendor tried to sue him for responsibly disclosing his findings. So that triggered the max multiplier on our score. So congratulations, Noah. And I, I hope that that doesn't prevent you from responsibly disclosing in the future. So thank you very much. That's why we have the EFF. That's it. That's, that's it. That's just a plug for the EFF. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Uh, another crew that I love a whole lot, so I hope they're here. Car Hacking Village CTF. <laughs> Should I unplug? No, I'm kidding. That's all right, if you want. Here. Do you mind? Um. Would that be weird? Is that weird if I just unplug you? Like right here? All right. I'm going to do something. It's going to work. Do the damn thing. Do the damn thing. All right. Look at this. Always works. No, it didn't. It worked. No? Really? Why didn't that work? It just did. OK, anybody got no? Really? There it is. Yes. All right. Yeah. Woo. Live demos. All right. I've always wanted to do this. I've got a, a board that's saying everything I want. It's, it's like rewriting it. So I'm going to do that. Fuck. 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 No? It... Yeah. Fuck. 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 Oh, yeah, all right. I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> it does a real good job. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue. I'll do what I Okay. So um, we had a few teams um, join our CTF this year, a little over 92. So, yeah, like IoT, we had a ton of teams join us this year. Um, 
Um, so we're going to bring up our first place, if you don't mind coming up, Zero Vaughn, uh, the GM cybersecurity team joined us. So these gentlemen uh, did a great job. They finally got first. So they're excited. And yeah, so as you can see, our teams are really small. Um, they did a great job. Uh, they spent the entire time you know, working on a, a host of challenges that we did. We even made a full virtual 3D car um, uh, so that you, you know, they can be play. So yeah, come on behind me. Um, I've already given them their award. It was some uh, go-karts, some Segway go-kart scooters, so they're pretty excited about them. So one of them may have been damaged in a car accident, uh, so we apologize. It was, they're pre-used. So thank you very much for, for joining us and uh, come check out the village next year. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. It occurred to me after that the design is usually that you come up one side and down the other, but I forgot to, to do that. Are we good? Eddie! Oh no. Hold, please. <laughs> wow, buddy. No. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? Oh, it is. It's back. Perfect. Wait, no, I can't see it though, bud. What is happening? Oh, it's up on the screen. So do I just go? Yeah, you can. Let's see. Oh, another contest near and dear to my heart. Darknet! This is family, guys. I love this. Well, thank you for the introduction. Uh, hello to all of the doers of Darknet, of, of DEF CON. But, I mean, Darknet's great, too. Um, so, Darknet is many things. We can't really sum it all up in one s small little thing. We're an in-person on in online role-playing game. We're a contest that's accessible to beginners and challenging for experts. We're one of the most prolific badge producers um, and kind of a thorn in the contest goon's side for all of our lines. Absolutely not true. Are you kidding me? I mean, we get 500 people lined up every morning. Yes, uh, like I said, you make me look good. Thank you. <laughs> we try. We'll do it again next year. Um, and we're a year-round community of teaching and learning and fun. This is our 11th year, and it was another highly successful year for Darknet. For our homecoming, we went back to basics, teaching circuit design and expanding badge life to a record 1,300 new desi unique designs. We also had, we had over 200 players in our online CTF. Standings will come out at closing. Um, so first, thank you to all the Darknet operatives who made this happen. It's definitely a labor of love throughout the year and many thousands of dollars in circuit components that we put together to uh, produce all of those badges. So um, thank you to the contest goons for giving us the opportunity to put 500 people in line in the morning um, and helping us manage all of that. And thank you to all of our fellow contests for your patience as we <laughs> flood the contest area. Um, and finally, and last but not least, thank you to all of our players. You are absolutely the reason we are here, uh, and we look forward to doing more of this for another 10 years. Thank you. All right. Uh, do I have EFF Tech Trivia around? Hey. How's it going, everyone? I'm uh, the Cyber Tiger from EFF Tech Trivia. How many of y'all are familiar with EFF? 
Awesome. If any of you are not, we are a nonprofit that defends di digital civil liberties, your rights online, and hackers at DEF CON. And we've been doing it since about one year before DEF CON started. Uh, so we've been around for 31 years now, and we're, we, we love the con, and uh, we come every year. Uh, EFF Tech Trivia this year, we ran, we had 15 teams all participating in uh, what somebody called Hacker Jeopardy for kindergartners. Um, <laughs> We had uh, 15 wonderful teams, and I have the winners here. One second. The third place team was the uh, defending champions, Bollards as a Service. Also the runners of the beverage cooling contest. So they were a little too drunk to win. The second team, EFF the System. And the first place team, Fnordlandia. So thanks to everybody who played. It's a lot of fun and it's a way for us to give back to the DEF CON community, which does so much to support EFF. So thank you all. Come check it out again next year. We want to make it bigger and bigger. We want to be bigger than Hacker Jeopardy. Damn, that was like, you're going to throw down with them now. It sounds intense. All right. Uh, last but not least, we have Command Control. No? All right. That works for me uh, because it's very important. Oh, yes. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, Mud actually has a winner as well. What? DEF CON Mud actually has a winner. Ooh, oh, yeah. OK. Come on up. All right. So of course, Grifter forgot us, but that's all right. Everyone forgets who we are. Um, for those who don't know, I'm Evil Mog. We run the uh, DEF CON Mud. We partnered with Ann Not XOR with Snacky, the uh, vending machine. So. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not command and control. I am evil mom. Yeah, sorry. There's no slides because we're not that cool. Sorry. Um, anyways, so who here had a chance to go play with Snacky the vending machine? Excellent. So we combined in with the DEF CON MUD and we ran a whole whack load of challenges. You had to hack a Raspberry Pi that was in there. We were dispensing badges. Now there's a little bug in the game in that people couldn't actually win some of our challenges unless they cheated and hacked the game. Like the DEF CON MUD had crippling bugs. It was fantastic. But we do actually have a winner. So one team, we told Griff we didn't, but we do now. So, uh, Charjan, are you here? Um, Jonathan, come on up. These guys completed every single challenge on Snacky and the MUD and took over the admin and found the fire disclosure bugs and everything else. It was absolutely beautiful. So they definitely did a wicked job. They must have spent easily two full days in the contest area. Say hi. We, uh, we met the on Nautixer guys at about three in the morning at DEF CON 27 and bonded over a mutual love of Matt Damon. And ever since then, we've been following them and we knew, we heard, we would get a picture taken with them if we won this. So we devoted our entire conference to winning, which we did. So waiting for that picture. All right, so um, very much in the spirit of fuck it, we're doing it live. There are several slides I don't have, so I'm just going to be uh, bringing up more, more contests that uh, have winners to announce. Bear with me a second. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are PTFS Presents Mayhem Industries. Uh, PTFS is a uh, CTF team. We decided after a couple years of uh, doing quite well, let's say, that we wanted to run something. Uh, can we get our winning uh, t representative of our winning teams up here? If you all were in contests and you saw the oil rig flashing away and maybe something flashing under a sheet, that was us. We had over 80 teams uh, with points on the board by the end of the weekend. Very exciting. And a lot of people uh, starting things out. Um, Top three teams. Do we have a representative of Team Autofill here? Can we have Autofill come up, please? In third place, Team Autofill. Congratulations. Thank you. Giving you a set of uh, bump keys here. Thank you. 
Second place, Team O'Oil Rig. Come on up, please. We've got a fresh set of uh, tubular lock picks for you. Now, during the course of our competition, uh, people got a chance to hack an oil rig, open an alien vault, and discover what was inside. In this case, this uh, wonderful alien artifact here. And this is going home with our first place winner, Albin Wi-Fi. Congratulations, well done. Thank you so much. I hope we'll be back here next year. Uh, thank you for coming. We're the Red Team CTF. We just want to say uh, thank you for all the players that we had playing this year. We had over 200 teams playing. Uh, so, you know, one of my favorite parts here is just kind of getting to meet all the different players, helping them through the challenges, uh, and that's kind of, I think, why we do it. We just love uh, the kind of building that relationships, kind of meeting all the players and all the hard work that they do. <clears throat> so with that, you know, there's a lot of great competition this year. We saw a lot of movement on the board, uh, and we'll talk a little bit about the players here in a second. But... You know, we had 85 challenges spread out over two days. Uh, and there's just, you know, a lot of teams working hard on them each and every day. So it was really great to see that. Uh, we had, uh, you know, roughly over like 10,000 flag submissions. So a lot, of, a lot of competition, a lot of things going on. It was great to see everything. Uh, and with that, uh, I'm not a researcher and I'll turn over to Pony FA. Hey, I'm Pony FA. Just want to introduce the uh, top three teams. They're coming up right now. Third place, uh, we have international uh, players. They came all the way down here. They focused, we did in person only this year. And uh, they were down in the contest area. So CTF Singapore, third place. <laughs> then in second place, we had the Poner Puff Girls. I believe you're from all over, right? From planet Earth. Planet Earth. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we had a we get, we were very fortunate to have over seventy thousand dollars in prizes. We split that up amongst the top ten teams, and uh, taking home gold for the red team CTF all the way from Norway is uh, Team EPT. And as they're coming up, I just want to say thank you for, uh, to DEF CON organizers for having us here. This is our third year. Uh, we, it, it, it's great, every experience that we have. Thank you for the <laughs> goons. They ensured that our contest was very smooth. We had no issues. Thank you so much. And uh, last but not least, thanks to all the players. Uh, they keep us motivated to work on the challenges uh, throughout the year and, uh, and put in all this effort because it's just great to hang out. And this is, this is the meeting place every year. Thank you. All right, I think I'm forgetting someone else, right? Hey, DEF CON, uh, Dave here, we're running the, been running the uh, Maritime Hacking CTF, so it's S-E-A-T-F, which works better when there's a slide. But uh, it's an opportunity for uh, teams to come in and hack real maritime equipment. We brought about half a million dollars worth of equipment for folks to hack on. Most people don't get to attack a ship, so we had all the bridge equipment, uh, propulsion and steering systems and ballast systems, running the actual OT protocols. Uh, had a 23, 22 teams. Hold on, I actually took notes. Give me a second. Uh, we had uh, 22 teams uh, participating. They captured 186 flags uh, throughout the weekend and spent a total of 1,871 minutes uh, actually connected to the hardware. And so uh, the first place team, if they would come on up, it is uh, the emoji team, ship, wolf, fire, fire, fire. And uh, woo.
So this team actually spent the entire con sitting in our, in our spaces over in the ICS village. So it was a great opportunity and uh, a lot of fun here and I uh, want to give them a good round of applause and uh, thank you for uh, letting us run this great competition. Sorry about that, I was complimenting someone wearing our merch because it's really just all about me. We are Trace Labs. We were here for our fifth year running our search party CTF. This is a CTF that gamifies the collection of open source intelligence around actual missing persons cases. The end result is that data being turned back over to law enforcement, help, hopefully aiding in the investigation of that missing person. Uh, we made some really big changes to our contest right before DEF CON because that makes sense. It went great. Um, the quality of the intel submitted was better than any CTF we've ever run. We saw 650 contestants form 250 teams investigating eight real missing persons cases, submitting almost 4,000 pieces of intelligence. Um, just a mind-blowing experience. Um, we found missing persons that were no longer missing. Hopefully law enforcement will be able to, to take those missing people off their books. So really just a great experience. <laughs> yes. We have an amazing community. Um, personally to me, the points and the winners are secondary to the mission, but it is, is a CTF, so someone is going to win. Alex, who won? Yeah, so the winner, um, so we have winners based on point values, and then we have the, uh, our highest winner is the one that submits the most valuable OSINT, so the most valuable piece of intelligence. So in our third place, we had people of OSINT land. Second place, we had B Berlin. First place, we had the FSBs. For our MVO, we had received a photo taken of the missing person stating they had been found safe. So while many, uh, Many contestants had found this flag, they had articulated the flag and had cross-referenced it to validate the source of truth. And with this, this is the type of um, significant advancement to the timeline and the type of submission and results that align heavily with our mission. Our winning team was OX Forco's squad. All right, so I, I feel like I have to introduce this, this crew. They came here um, not really knowing where they were gonna land because kind of like this, making it up as we go. And um, by the time we got them set up, even though they didn't have a sign, even though initially they didn't have a projector, very, very uh, big, crowd draw because uh, they've been working on this stuff all year. You know what? I'm just going to let them tell you. Thanks, Thank you. What's up, DEF CON? We're, we're Atomic Security Team. This is our first time running an open CTF at DEF CON contest area. Like Cave says, we want to give her an awesome shout out because she's been super helpful this whole time. We showed up with nothing. We started on the ground and then as the time progressed, we got a table and then we got a projector and then we got a screen. It was awesome. Next so we did a... might even have a slide. Next year we might have a sign, she says. It'll be artistic. So we ran a Jeopardy style CTF with 16 challenges. We had different types of challenges. We had web challenges, we had crypto challenges, we had uh, programming challenges and uh, backend server challenges. We gave away around 200 PCB challenge coins. We had 60 shirts giveaway. We were about to give hundreds of dollars away in Amazon gift cards to the top 10 streams. And uh, I'll let Jiva here announce the stats. Hey everybody, just a few stats. We had uh, 200 flags captured across 42 teams. Uh, first place winner was Huber. They solved almost all the challenges except for one. Second place was Coco. Third place was Buzz. Uh, we want to give a special shout out to the fourth place, uh, fourth place uh, 
contested, percent S, uh, this person was a single player high schooler that dominated for most of uh, the majority of the competition. So shout outs to wherever you are. Uh, the final leaderboard is available at ctf.atomic.financial. Uh, top three teams, wherever you are, please meet us over there somewhere. We'll give you some hats, shirts. Uh, thank you to the goons. Thank you to Caves once again for hooking us up. Thank you, DEF CON. Hopefully we'll be here next year. See ya. The Tele Challenge is one of the hardest contests at DEF CON. Uh, people spend their entire DEF CON to play. And I'm very, very proud of Foxbox Dialing Services, who won the Tele Challenge this year. Come on up on stage, guys. These guys gave up uh, 1,489 minutes to uh, become the winners of the Tele Challenge this year. We spend pretty much all year building it. And part of the puzzle is learning that you're in a puzzle. We showed up as Red Sea Cruises this year, so if you got a, you may have won a free cruise flyer, that was us. Uh, that's actually a sequel of our 2018 game where we also showed up as Red Sea Cruises. Just a couple of stats. 3,940 calls came into our systems across the 20 registered teams that played with 294 unique callers. Total time spent on hold was 955 minutes, and one person sat on hold for 90 minutes. There were 4,402 attacks on voicemail boxes, and we built a casino inside the game if you played. The total telecoin casino slot machine polls were 6,163. Red box, red box, red box. We'd like to invite everybody to uh, look for us next year. Keep in mind, we never show up as the Tele Challenge. We show up as something else. You need to be prepared to play, and you must play in a team if you want to win. So I'm so proud of Foxbox Dialing Services. They've been trying to play, play and win for five years, and this year they finally got it. Congratulations. We are Crash Compile, which is we create programming challenges, make you do them live on stage while we try to feed you a lot of beer and try to distract you in any other way possible. Um, we had 70 teams register to do qualifications, and then we did the top nine teams on the main contest floor. If you were there last night, there was a lot of chaos. Uh, for the first time ever, uh, every team competing both scored points and scored points on the final challenge, which means despite all the beers, all the distraction, all the chaos, every team was still there and competing till the end. For our final problem this year, teams were competing with each other in a multiplayer arena. They had to write a program that could explore, take over, and maintain their stake of the arena for the entire uh, duration of the competition. Uh, Team Jam was our winner this year with 406 points and took home the custom fabricated Crash Compile trophy, our giant metal D10 covered in programming language for Crash Compile history. Uh, second place with 368, Pro Gamer Moves, and third place at 258 was Advanced Persistent Sweats. All right, so um, before they start playing the music that... Oh man, I fucked it up again. Last one, I promise. I'm back. Thank you, ma'am. It's okay, I'll drink later. I'll do it, I promise. Hey guys, uh, my name is Jeff. Uh, I go by the handle Morph here. If anyone is in the room who is competing in the King of the Hill challenge for Tamper Evident, can you start making your way up to the stage, please? So you, you, yep. Any of my guys, come on up here. Um, so tamper evident, I'm gonna try to keep this quick. Uh, tamper evidence right next to lock picking, we tamper seals. This is what a seal looks like. Um, these guys have been competing in five separate categories over the course of the weekend uh, to open these seals that are locked. 
in a one-way manner, right? They're not supposed to be unlocked. There is no picking here. This is a one-way seal. These guys have been devising defeats uh, through the entire weekend, cutting each other down second by second, trying to get to the fastest possible open without leaving any detectable trace. Um, guys, start making your way up here. So we had five different categories of entry. Um, these different categories were a uh, red and black uh, little zip seal. Uh, we have a yellow padlock seal. Uh, we have a red zip tie, which looks a little bit like this. Um, and we had a white plunger. And of these different categories, uh, these guys started by opening them in a couple minutes, right? Uh, people were bleeding all over the seals. Uh, not quite Why evident, you that might that say. Why is yeah. it safety third? Is yes, safety. yes. Uh, um, by the end of it, some of these guys were opening these seals in less than 20 seconds um, at speed, leaving absolutely no trace left behind with homemade tools MacGyvered at the competition. So to announce our winners, um, Eliezer uh, opening the red and black seal in 12.97 seconds. Um, Zeb, if you're out there or up here, um, opening the yellow padlock uh, at a 9.5, damn near perfect open. Um, let's go with Cardinal, if you're here. Right here, one of our one of our number one guys uh, beating down everyone you see here uh, in every category slowly um, at a 23 second open on this particular seal, um, and finally uh, Ian with a white plunger open. Um, again, these things are used to lock weapons in the military. They're used to uh, do your meters at home for electricity and water, um, that type of thing. Uh, these guys were able to open these in seconds with homemade tools uh, and do so in a way that leaves no trace whatsoever. Um, guys, thank you so much for competing. Uh, Tamper Evident, shout out. Um, and lastly, uh, we also allegedly were maybe the guys involved with the counterfeit badge contest. Um, <laughs> so that you might have seen some of these floating around. There's also a few out there right now. Um, shout out to Cookie Fairy uh, with a damn near perfect replica of a human badge. Um, shout out to the CJer for a perfect replica of a goon badge. Um, good job getting into the knock. Impressive. Um, so, so uh, yeah, uh, that's Tamper Evident Village for you guys. Um, thank you very much and congratulations to our winners. Thank you. All right, I think I got it right this time. I think that covers uh, all of the contests uh, and events that, um, that uh, well, they put on great contests. Sorry, uh, really stressing here. But uh, something that I really wanted to say, even though I know I have to wrap up here, is uh, my reminder every year, if there was a contest that you didn't see, that's a place for you to become a part of this community. Everyone here wanted to create something new, so they made it happen. I don't have contests and events without you guys. So, um, you know, for, for every time a contest thanks me, I'm just doing my job, sometimes not even that well. Uh, <laughs> but thank you so much, everybody. And um, I don't know, go... Uh, Enjoy the rest of your DEF CON. Here there's another closing ceremony. I don't know. This is the good one, right? <laughs> <laughs>